Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Jonathan the Unstoppable. He made his first appearance in All New Wolverine, issue number seven, that was released in April of 2016. Now, he's also known as just Jonathan, or Jonathan the Wolverine, and basically, he's just a very large gulo gulo, which is the scientific name for a wolverine animal. Being native to North America with brown eyes and covered in brown fur, also sporting sharp fangs and claws. Now, Jonathan doesn't have any particular superpowers, although he's a wolverine, which speaks for itself because they are naturally extremely tough and aggressive, especially for their relatively small size in the animal kingdom. They're known to have voracious appetites, which they can satisfy with their extremely strong claws and jaws. Not to mention that they're fearless and they regularly run off animals many times their size, such as bears and mountain lions. So Jonathan has all of these traits, in addition to strangely being able to see Gwen Stacy's hallucinations of Spider-Ham, although it's not clear how he does this. Now, we first see Jonathan when he was rescued by Squirrel Girl from a lab that he was being experimented on. She took him to Laura Kinney, AKA X-23, AKA the new Wolverine's apartment because she thought that Laura could speak to Wolverines the same way she can talk to squirrels. But lo and behold, Laura's little clone sister Gabby took an immediate liking to Jonathan, as did he to her. There was an immediate bond and the two clone sisters now had a pet, which often got mistaken for a big dangerous dog. We'd later see Jonathan introduced to old man Logan when Gabby and Laura brought him home after saving him from Fin Fang Foo. At first, Logan really questioned keeping a Wolverine as a pet in an apartment, but Laura explained Jonathan's bad situation at the lab and that they would just keep him rather than return him. Not too long after this conversation, we'd see Jonathan spring into action for the first time, with him immediately charging at three burglars that were unfortunate enough to break into the wrong apartment after one of these burglars made the mistake of pointing a gun at them. Jonathan was shot in this exchange, which angered Laura, Gabby, and Logan, who easily took out the three burglars. But lucky for Jonathan, he's a Wolverine, and they're extremely tough as I noted before, and he wasn't very badly injured which led to Gabby giving him the nickname, Jonathan the Unstoppable. From here, Jonathan would go on to have several different adventures with his new partners, notably fighting against Hydra Supreme, AKA the evil Captain America and the Corrupted Shield organization, and also going with Laura and Gabby when they joined the Guardians of the Galaxy to investigate the source of an alien virus that was brought to Earth by a dying alien child. Funny enough, Jonathan would try to use Groot as a true toy, that is, until he was scolded by Gabby. However, Jonathan would receive his first truly severe injuries while fighting against the brood. But thankfully he was tended to by Rocket Raccoon who helped heal him as well as provide him with a universal translator, which finally gave him the ability to speak and understand others. And he would notably thank Laura and Gabby for saving his life and taking him in. Also pledging that he would die to protect them, particularly Gabby. Comically though, he would now be able to express to Deadpool that he didn't like him very much and would threaten to eat his face off when Wade tried to pet him. So this allowed him to set some clear boundaries for Deadpool's antics. Now, for his abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my one to 10 rating, I'll give Jonathan the Unstoppable a rating of three, which is a rating of proselyte. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.